All right, good evening, guys. Count of Tortoise Capital, Nightly Strategy Podcast for May 16th, 2024. We'll start with the 30-minute hybrid swing portfolio with uh, Alcoa on 30-minute charts. All right, this is uh, the yellow box represents today's price action. The uh, red box represents the five day. This uh, blue line is the 10 day anchored VWAP. The red line is the five day anchored VWAP. And this three green uh, bar is the three day. <clears throat> the orange line is the one day, the daily VWAP, uh, as you can see. Okay. So uh, the, yesterday I'll, we traded here with Alcoa, exited it near the close. This was a continuation of that price move. It ran all the way up to the peak of the RL10 at which point our stop, which was here, picks up the PSR, runs up to the skin of the dragon, takes that exit, and that's about 1R. And then it gave back even more in the app to close near the low of the day. So uh, that was pretty efficient use today. Um, AI, uh, no trade, Caterpillar, uh, this was a big time collapse in the industrial section here. So here's that anchored VWAP, which we talked about earlier this week, acting like the 50 yard line. Everything north of that is a positive bias. Everything below that has a negative bias. And this is where it closed yesterday and it gapped down to here through that five day anchored VWAP. Uh, it rose up rose back down or sold off collapsing here for a standard entry standard risk and this just collapsed all day and near the end of the day the rl10 reversed higher and when it re hit the skin of the dragon we took the exit for one two three r that's a pure collapsing dragon trade right by the numbers Nothing unusual about that. Uh, Cliff had the same phenomenon, but it didn't sell off as hard as Cat. Uh, it broke down below the three-day anchored VWAP and the Bollinger Band mean and the PSAR flip. So that's a critical state. So we get short here, and it sells off and basically just drones along sideways, getting a lot of support from the five-day anchored VWAP, so that acts as support, and it just kind of drifts into the station, edge of the dragon, exit here, one unit of risk, one unit of reward, very happy with that one. Now, when that does, uh, if that can stay above this uh, VWAP, then this will act as a giant kata too, because you will have had support and support. So if this can find some recovery tomorrow, then that's a tactical long until it gets above the peak of the RL10, in which case it's officially long and gone, right? So that's a cliff. CVS, uh, uh, beautiful. Uh, here's the close yesterday. Gaps up to here, drives straight north, so we get long. Standard risk down to about where the five-period VWAP is. This runs all the way up and stalls, and that's where we take this exit at the skin of the dragon. And on one unit of risk, you get two units of reward. DIA, uh, this was a continuation 
Here's the gap up and it continues higher long. Standard risk uh, runs all the way up to here and then just chops and then decays back to the VWAP and the skin of the dragon for one R. Disney, which uh, had that big sell-off collapsing move yesterday, the 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 hard sell-off today continued the little bit of recovery. That in the afternoon, that thing recovered. Uh, this was a continuation up, so we get long standard risk, and it really goes nowhere for a scratch. Still bruised and battered from yesterday. Devon Energy. This was a uh, afternoon trade, uh, an opportunity trade, uh, as this thing opened here and then plowed sideways and then in the afternoon collapsed through the Bollinger Band main, through the five-day, uh, through the Dragon, short here, cover there, 1R. Emerging Markets. Continuation for an R. Ethereum, no trade. Uh, EWW, uh, the morning trade featured some sell-off and chop. This was an opportunity trade after lunch when the Bollinger Band reverses a little higher. This comes up. It leaves all of this behind. Crosses the five-day and three-day VWAP, so I give it a shot intraday strength and it runs up to here reverses so i take the exit near the end of the day and that's a little over one hour uh, brazil uh, no trade home depot tried the long this was a um a slight gap and then it harshly sold off. And I took that as a one, two, three effort long. And it just decayed and drifted down to a one R at the Bollinger band main. So minus one. Honeywell, uh, follow through trade for an R. Intel follow through trade for two R. IP, follow through trade, for an R. IYR, no trade. Coke, this was a compound day in Coca-Cola. It was exciting. So here was yesterday's sideways chop with a lid on it of that five-day anchored VWAP. Today, it blew through that, so we get long on the way up. Standard risk. This thing runs all the way up to here. comes down, I finally take it for 1R. When this whole complex rolls over and comes through the VWAP, I get short with a risk box for 1R. This one was 1R, so net two. Regional banks, no trade. Uh, the mags scratched. McDonald's. Uh, follow through. So this is just a Kata 2 continuation of follow through. So this was the big turn. That was the SSC with that nice leg. Today it just did this and then crossed back above the dragon. That's what I mean by a continuation. This little up move is simply a continuation of the bigger move yesterday. So this is leg one. That's leg two. There's still enough energy to give us one R on that one. It's starting to stall. And stalling right at the same level that it stalled before and did this. So uh, so you take it when you can, and then you just notice that the retracement has begun. Is it going to come all the way back to here? I don't know. But there's the Bollinger Band main. The five-day, the three-day, the 30-day, and 10-day anchored VWAPs, those are the price levels on the way down, like uh, steps of the ladder.
until it gets all the way down to here. And then here's the dragon. So those are very clear markers or road signs for how to frame that trade. 3M. Uh, emerging dragon follow through for 4R. Beautiful. That thing really trades well. Merck, same thing. Uh, yesterday was the big move up. Hulk smash. Took it. Uh, today, it just rolled over. That feels like it's starting a retracement, so short. And then exit near the skin of the dragon. That's about 0. 0.5. That's still in good shape. It really was not a panic sell. I mean... This is a this is the Bollinger Band mean and it held support right here. And here's all your anchored VWAP. So there's still a lot of residual goodwill in this after this nice move. It's still above the previous resistance. So at the first sign of strength tomorrow, I get no hesitation getting back on board. Uh, Microsoft rolled over short for one. Marijuana emerging dragon breakout for two. But then it gave it all back in the afternoon session and closed right where it opened. So you got to get it when you can. Nike, no trade. I missed the short. Um, NVIDIA. Uh, this was the one of the two positions that we had that we carried overnight. So that had two to here and then today it rolled up and then as it started to come back through the vwap just said i got to exit here in order to keep uh, all of that in the money and to respect the risk i took overnight so it got a little bit extra on that i was hoping for more a lot of that's about seven R. clean energy uh, tried the short on a continuation down, but it reversed and scratched. Palantir, uh, continuation, it scratched. The SPY had a continuation early in the morning and made a new high, but then gave it all back and then closed pretty well. So pretty much a sideways day. That's strike one. That's strike one right there. It had a chance to go and it retraced. But it didn't collapse, so that's a good thing. Uh, let's see. Tesla tried to get the morning hook one, two, three entry for a fraction. Walmart, huge gap up. Big gap up. Tried it, went here, rose up, came down, reversed again in the same bar, so I tried it. It ran up and came back, so I got out of that. Then it gave me a one, two, three about two hours later. Long here, standard risk, about three R. Swing traders love that one. Uh, U.S. Steel Beauty. The uh, this collapsing dragon right here. It had already broken through the um, PSAR, broke through the three-day and the five-day anchored VWAPs. That's complacency. So we tried it short, and lo and behold, it just – and then I should have got a second position on here when it broke down below the 10-day anchored VWAP, and that caught everybody leaning, I guess. So we ended up exiting near the end of the day. Uh -uh. One unit of risk, one, two, three, three and a half units of reward. I like that one. Materials started to collapse. That's why uh, CAT and CLF were hurting. Energy start got short when it crossed the VWEP finance. Tried the continuation long for half an hour. Uh, I'm sorry, that was energy. No, that was, yeah, that's fine. This is industrials. Industrials were weak along with the materials. So when this, when this uh, chop resolved and broke through the 
VWAPs. I finally took it in the afternoon and it ran down and back up. So we kept the piece about 0.5. Uh, technology after yesterday's really good run. And I feel like we really exploited what was available today. It capped out, rolled over short, covered to our pure tactical. Still holding support above the uh, Bollinger Band main and then all of the VWAP. So that's a nice stretch move. This did not give back much, so I'm ready for continuation. <clears throat> All right, sniper trades of the day. These are all on three-minute bars. The blue box uh, represents the OR3. That's the opening range three. And we typically set that up so if um, if it breaks higher, we can go long. And if it breaks lower, we can go short. I really want to go short there because that's your PSAR. And then here's the collapsing dragon entry short. Uh, short and a fraction. Short on a collapsing dragon. Missed the second position. Darn it. Um, about 3R. Next short position. You know, we got a river that's declining and a declining VWAP, so I'm not in any hurry to stop and reverse on that one. So we just take the second position this time. Um, that one pays off nicely. You know, that's one, two, three, four. So this one gets four. The 2R battle drill, after this had fallen 2R, that position gets an additional two. So this four and that two gives us six. This one gave us three. Pick up another one on the final leg down. Now it's well after three, and uh, that's it for the day. But nice work in um, U.S. Steel. You turned on to that because it started failing fast, failing early, and the whole sector was weak. Uh, this is CVS. Again, all these are now on three minutes. Uh, this was yesterday's close right here. Here's um, here's the gap up, sells off, runs up, comes back. So that sets up the OR3 like this. Or three entry, check or hold. Oh, excuse me. Exit at the skin of the dragon, check or hold. One unit of risk. About 3R. <clears throat> yes. OR3 is based on the opening three-minute candle. Kata 2 continuation, standard risk for half an R. So that one gets about three and a half for the day. That's about a 25 cent risk, that little box right there.
This is uh, let's see, DIA. Again, three minutes. Here's yesterday's move, which closes here. Here's the gap up. Sells off a little bit, runs all the way up here, comes back and settles right there. OR3. Short, check or hold. Standard risk box. There's the R10 reversal. And I get filled right here. So basically a scratch. PSAR flip, long. That's also an emerging dragon. Because here's the peak of the RL10. There's the peak of the PSAR. Risk to the bottom of the of the PSAR. The market was working pretty well here. I wouldn't be offended if you took that exit and re-entered here and got that one. Same difference. The difference is about 10 cents. Um, this one is about 1.5. Cotta 2 reversal, traction. So not much room in uh, DIA today. Got a little piece, though. That's the morning session. I had work this afternoon to do. Uh, this is uh, EWW, Mexico. Uh, this was yesterday's close. Here's the OR3. Short. Scratch. Checker hold. Uh, SSC. Minus 0.5. Cotta uh, 2 short. Fractional gain. So it erased second trade. SSC. Check or hold. Fractional gain. Cotta 2 re-entry or an emerging dragon re-entry. Hulk smash. Cotta 2 re-entry. And a collapsing dragon. So this thing, once it got rolling, the rules do what the rules do. So zero. Minus 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So we are net zero so far. Those two cancel. 0 0.3. 2.5. Scratch. And one. So... This and that gives us, and this one gives about three, three point five. EWZ. Yesterday's close. 
big gap up. Sells off, runs all the way up, runs all the way back. OR3. Check or hold. Whoop. Happy mouse. <laughs> Short, check or hold, standard size risk based on the R10. R10 reverses. Here's the dotted line for the southern skin of the dragon. Exit. One, two, three. Three R. Uh, SSC. It's crossed the dragon. The R10 is RLX deed. <clears throat> Half an R when it comes back to the VWAP because it's getting, you know, late in the morning here, coming towards lunch. Here's that VWAP. So when this runs all the way up and then comes back, I'm able to preserve 0.5. Check or hold. So a pretty good morning. Uh, here's the traders. Hamad gets um, uh, 1.8. So we did a coaching session over the weekend. And we had an extended session about the R10 turning points and the R10 channel was absolutely gold. It helped him identify where the support and resistance are and when and where he should be tightening his stops. So the idea was that uh, when you have an R10, the R10s always go to a point because of the way math is conducted on them. And that establishes the channel in which the normal not unusual trade is going to go. If it breaks below that or above that, then you have a breakout of of this channel. Now, that's based on a 10-period moving regression line. The dragon is slower and doesn't go as far because it's based on a simple moving average, and it will turn like this. It stays inside the channel that is created by the turning points of the R10. And then you have the spine of the dragon is that that's the 10 period simple moving average. So uh, if this price comes down, it will cross through the dragon and now it's accelerating until it comes down here. And then we're going to see, does it test? and reverse higher, then the crossing of the dragon right there establishes that this, where, when the R10 reverses, that's where your, your exit goes. And then the top skin of the dragon, or wherever you make that, that becomes your risk box. And these are extreme small risk boxes because of the R10 calculation. And you don't have to pay much. Uh, so maybe this was here. 
So if I can get short somewhere in here, not drawn to quite to scale, and long about here, if that's my risk box, then my expected gain is one, two, three, or four. If it were to go all the way back up to the previous peak of the RL10, but I might just put a 50% retracement in there because I can still trade that on 2R, hoping to get 2R. And if this thing comes out and then only gets halfway and starts to reverse, then I can get out with something like 1.5 to 2R. If it continues all the way up here and stalls, I'm out for 3 to 4R. And then if it breaks north of this, what I have is a emerging dragon, and then we're off to the races, and we've got 4R in hand, so I can put a second position on, and off we go. So that was the coaching session we went through Sunday and made a nice difference in DIA. And notice that that's, one, that's almost 2R, and this is not much, not much of a channel in here to trade on. And then notice how in the middle of that channel, that daily VWAP acts like a darn magnet all day. And all you get is a bit of a dip down, a run up to the peak, run down, run down. And notice he gets on that twice. And then it closes right back at the VWAP like a giant magnet. It opens at the VWAP, closes at the VWAP. That's why this is such a brilliant trade. It did not have much of an excursion. And then all the good feelings from yesterday piled on and people start buying that as a buy on dip opportunity. And that propels it this far. Now, nobody else came in. So it reverts quickly back to the VWAP and that's the rest of the day. So that was the nature of our coaching this weekend. Well, we recorded that session and it's part of the coaching cohort workshop. We've got three cohorts of guys. So that's three different coaching sessions every week where we're going into great detail. And you can join that program before the price goes up. And you have access to all the coaching sessions that those guys are doing based on their courtesy. He gets 0.3 in EWR. The chop doesn't hurt him much because if it doesn't work, he's cutting it quick. And 0.5 in uh, Mexico, he does the right thing. And notice how he's able to really get what was available. And then the re-entry is the key to sanity. So really nice work. Yeah, uh, his research study is showing that the if you wait patiently for breakouts from the Z3 pinch, you're doing well. Like if this thing reverses but does not come down to the collapsing dragon, this trade has a 2.9 to 1 payoff, expectancy rate of 0.3, and a win rate of 55%. So it's a coin flip that favors the win by 55 to 45, and the payoff is 2.9 to 1. So you're getting paid almost three times on the 55% of the time you're winning, and you're only losing one on the 45% of the time you're losing. How, how many times a day do you want to trade that one? All of them. That's how many of those trades you want. You want all of them. Uh, he learned that from his internship. He went through 18 months of our weekly, you know, multiple times a week coaching sessions. And he's produced something like 100 
structured note sheets like we did for the foundations course. That's going to be, and that's key to uh, recorded sessions. That's going to become book number three and a home study course uh, on advanced hybrid trading. When I release it to the public, that's going to go for three grand. If you're one of the early adopters, I'll give you a, a good price break on that. Haven't decided exactly how much, but it'll probably be anywhere from a uh, thousand to 1500, somewhere in there. But that's going to be the full price. And this is like, again, a hundred note sheets and probably a hundred hours of coaching. And if you take the advanced hybrid trading course, that'll give you a discount for your own weekly coaching. Now, you don't have to take the weekly coaching live. That may be enough. But you'll get a, if you do take this and you decide to go for that, I'll give you a discount. Uh, let's see, George. This is on Mexico. Um, yeah, this was the OR3. And then this starts rolling over. I, I like that short. It's cleared all of that junk. Now, when this reverses, I think you should be out in this cluster and not all the way up here. That allows you to get long here instead of here. And then your exit is a scratch instead of minus 0.3. So you might save half an hour loss on those two trades. Um, I like this long. I like cutting it. I'd like to see you stop and reverse there. And then take the exit here. And you should get paid on that trade instead of a minor loss. And then when this double bottom is in and it's already through the morning session, you're so close to the VWAP that this little reversal here, you can get long right there. And your trade should be something like this. Uh, this is Kevin. And uh, he brought home 1.3. Excellent notes. He's coded up all the different time frames on his one-minute chart so that he can see all of their effects on a single chart, and that's sharpening his look. He's using the one-minute RL10 as price rather than the three, and, and turning off the bars in order to not be distracted. And look how nice and orderly those signals are. And he sees how the dragon, this orange trend line, dominates price, especially with respect to uh, the river because um, here's the river. So when the dragon leaves the river with price, eventually they all get thirsty. When that rolls over, here it comes, right back to the river to drink, and now to the downside. And now right here, when it does not come back, but reverses, that's where you got to smash that short if you can, but except this is the open. So he gets it as soon as he can, chops around a little bit. It does not fail, and now it starts working, and he gets that. And that's 1.3 on a symbol that didn't really trade that much uh, distance today. And then on the 30-minute, this is a much more orderly, and he gets the entry here based on 
what he saw on the three and the one minute. And then he gets that whole trade exiting at the skin of the dragon for an additional one. So 2.3 for the day. Really nice work. If you can net 2R for the week times 50 weeks, that's 100R a year. And he just netted 2.3 for the day. So if you can do that, netting 2R for the week isn't crazy. You might even say 4R for the week, which leads you to 200R for the year. And if you're trading with 500 bucks of risk capital per trade at the uh, at the production level, that's 100K a year. Trading one symbol. So you want to build up towards 500. All right, that's, uh, that's for the traders. They did really well today. And uh, let's see what we can... Quick look at the reports now. <clears throat> I added a couple focusing lenses here um this is the uh 30 day low right here that's why you get this support level this is the bottom of the dragon right there that's why you get that price um this comes from the anchored vwap of the 150 day you get this one from the support level that's why you get this critical price um this one is the that r10 wiggle that gave us that that gives you this one um this breakout here and this one at the bottom of the r10 gives you that one this bottom of the dragon right here gives you this. And way back in the day, that was the noise boundary that said, if that ever got violated, back in the day, that was 416. And if it broke through 410, we were worried about a move back to 370. It, it didn't fail. It did the opposite of that, went to an all-time high. But we've been using the same lens to guide our work all the way. Look on daily charts. All you got here, this is a, that's a Kata 2 entry. And that's a 2R battle trail. And this is a Kata 2. And a Kata 2 and a Kata 2. So you can be using the same lens that we're using intraday to guide your trades on longer time periods. It's all fractal. All right, that's everything for today. We'll get this published and posted. Um Keep that in mind for the upcoming book and workshop and then the coaching program, which is a full year. You get access with that for a full year. That's a steal. All right, take good care, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.